Here is a real life situation and will model for a parabolic trajectory. John threw a ball from 1 meter above the ground. The ball reached a maximum height of 45 meters at 3 seconds. Determine the equation that will model the parabola for this situation. So let's first sketch a graph here. So let's say that John throws the ball from 1 meter height and goes like this and then it has to fall down ultimately, right? That's how it will go. So that is the trajectory path which we are talking about. And what we are saying is that the initial height when t equals to 0 is 1. And when t equals to 3, at that time, the ball reaches the maximum height of 45 meters, right? So this is 45 meters. So on this axis, we have time in seconds. And on this axis, we have height, which is a function of time in meters, right? So that is how it is. Now from these conditions given to us, we should be in a position to find equation of this parabolic path. Now since we are given the turning point, the maximum or the vertex, vertex form is the best thing to use. So we'll use the vertex form which is y equals to a times x minus t whole square plus c. Now in this equation we are given d and c. As you can see d is 3. At 3 we have a maximum height of 45. So d equals to 3 and c is the maximum height of 45. So we are given these values. So we'll use these values and then find out our equation. Correct? So that is our thinking and strategy at the moment. So we'll write this as equation y equals to a times x minus 3 whole square plus 45. Now in this equation we have one unknown which is a. How to find a? That is kind of tricky. Now to find a we need one more condition. Now the condition is fortunately given to us. John threw a ball from 1 meter above the ground. That is the condition. 1 meter above the ground. It means what? It means at the instance when time was 0, the height is 1. So we'll use this point to find the value of a. So this is actually a point which is at t equals to 0, our height is 1, right? So that is the point. So basically we get a function which is h of t. So let me write this function as h of t equals to a times, instead of x, I'll write t as my time because I'm writing, now representing this parabola shown on the graph. So my y is actually function of time and which is height with respect to time. And on the x-axis, I've taken t as time in seconds. So that is how I'm defining my variables. So my variables are t minus 3 whole square plus 45. So I've defined variables as time in seconds as given in the question and height as a function of time. So that is what I get. And this point says that at t equals to 0, that means height at t equals to 0 is what? Is equal to 1. That is what is given to us. So we'll plug it in. We substitute t equals to 0 here equals to 45 and then calculate the value of a. Height at 0 is given to us as 1. So 1 equals to a times minus 3 square plus 45. We can bring 45 to the left side. So it is 1 minus 45 equals to minus 3 square is 9, 9 times a. And from here, this gives us the value of a. So let's do this here. So we have 9a equals to 1 minus 45. That is minus 44. Or a is equals to minus 44 divided by 9. Which is, we can use the calculator. Which is divided by 9 equals to, let me change it to 4.88. So it says 4.88, like this, over the minus sign. So that is a. Now once we find the value of a, we can write down our function. So our function is h of t equals to minus 4.88 t minus 3 whole square plus 45. 
Do you see that? So that becomes our answer. So this, this equation here represents the parabolic path of the curved surface, right? So that is how we get the equation which represents a parabola from the given conditions. Thank you and all the best.